I'm here in Brighton at a zero waste restaurant called Silo, where they kind of work backwards with the bin in mind. Think pre-industrial methods applied to seasonal grub, where nothing is wasted and everything is used up. The restaurant has just turned one year old, hooray! But before we get to the happy birthdays, let's meet the man who made it all happen, Douglas McMaster. You could say he's the McMaster chef around here. Hey, 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 Douglas, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, really well. I liked our little sneaky sort of elbow nudge there. It's, uh, it's the, uh, the silo, uh, silo handshake. I've been initiated in. Absolutely, absolutely. This is Silo. Talk me through it. What's it all about? Sure. I, uh, I describe Silo as a uh, pre-industrial food system that generates zero waste. I love it. I'm all about zero waste. Um, can you show me more? Sure. Let's sure. do it. Well, uh, I'll show you this way. <clears throat> Um, so, Kate, this is the um, this is the flour mill, and uh, this wow. is a super duper important part of our whole business. This is actually what inspired the idea of the business. Oh, really? um, when we opened in Australia, um, we couldn't get flour zero waste. We, there's packaging on the flour over there, so um, we decided to buy a flour mill to mill our own flour, and um, <clears throat> so we started milling flour. That was at the very beginning of our zero waste journey and discovered that the, uh, the freshly milled flour was a completely superior flour to that of flour that's been sat on a shelf for two years uh, in the flavour, in the nutritional side. For every reason it was a yeah, superior product. So we, um, we decided that this was a great idea and this is actually what helped evolve the idea of pre-industrial food. It's a way of um, preparing wholer foods um, into, into the food system and uh, yeah, and it benefits everything and everyone. And it's actually the, uh, you know our logo? Yeah. It's the shape. Oh yeah. If you look at the shape of this, it's, uh, yeah. that's where I extracted that shape from this because uh, it sort of symbolizes what we do, uh, represents, you know, what Silo is yeah. all about. And this is a nice shape. Yeah, it's a nice, it just so happens to be a nice shape. Yeah. But I love that idea. Yeah, that yeah. So this is our uh, aerobic digester. Uh, we've named her Bertha, Bertha. Um, and uh, it's uh, it basically it's the jewel of the crown. It means that Silo is able to be zero waste. That is, the, this is the only way it's possible. So it kind of closes the loop. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So everything that comes into Silo is digestible by you know us, the customers, uh, etc. Or it's, if it's not then it's digestible uh, by Bertha. By Bertha. Um, so, you know, things like, you know, trimmings, peel, things that are inedible, you know, eggshells, um, bones. You know, Any leftovers, animal, I guess. And customers. leftovers, if there's plate waste, as we call it, yeah. it can go straight into here. Lemon skins, you know, all those ingredients go straight into, into Bertha. And just within 24 hours, it will turn up to 60 kilos uh, depending on density, into compost in yeah, 24 hours, in one day. I actually love one of these at home, but I'm not sure it would fit <laughs> um, I hear you've got a pretty awesome water machine here. Uh, we do indeed. We have the uh, the Jesus water. Can we go check it out? We can. Lead on. <laughs> so normally a bathroom in a restaurant isn't much to write home about, <laughs> but you've got some Jesus water to show me. Absolutely. Can you really see this miracle happen? Absolutely. So the Jesus water is our uh, way to avoid chemicals. It's a way of uh, creating a cleaning system, uh, all made in silo and uh, completely natural, completely chemical free, com no road miles, no carbon footprint, uh, all created down in the basement. And then this is the uh, customer uh, tap, uh, so we don't have you know soaps and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we use Jesus water. Uh, to give you a demo, so there's blue and then there's red. Okay. Uh, red uh, red kills bacteria and uh -huh. blue cleans, and okay. so there's a, a cycle. So basically, you use the sensors, and then so the blue is um, is alkali on the pH scale and uh, cleans, takes all the bacteria from your hands, and then the red is sanitizing, which is uh, more on the acidic scale of uh, the pH, and uh, the combination of the the, the stages. Uh, makes for the ultimate um, clean hand and it's amazing how clean they feel okay. and when you dry your hands it's like all tingly and yeah, uh, yeah it's, a, it's better than hand soap, put it that way. The design was based on simply the idea of upcycling um, so we've taken waste materials to create all our furniture 
and not just furniture but actual tools in which we use so plates and uh, cushions and things which uh, you know make for a nicer experience at the restaurant um, we've, we've taken some quite extreme ideas and uh, pushed them forward um, so the first one is this uh, cushion uh, because the chairs are made from um, wooden offcuts they're not the most comfortable uh, so we've created cushions um, so these are made out of uh, ripped denim jeans and um, they're, they're, it's ribbed uh, these lines are like ribbed to make yeah. it cushiony and they're like ladies t torn tights oh yes so uh, it's made out of like that's waist that's the stuffing yeah that's the stuffing Maybe. and um, the shape I'll show you we just put it um, over like that so it sits taut uh, that's so the ribs hold it in shape and uh, make for a very comfortable sit can I try it? yeah do go Pass the uh, test. Brilliant. Yeah. And I've noticed you've got these. Sure, yeah. So um, I asked a, um, a design student uh, about two years ago if she would be interested in making um, plates out of uh, plastic bags. Okay. Um, so yeah, she made. Um, so these are plastic? Yeah, this is made out of just waste plastic bags. So it's like an extreme form of upcycling because it's turning something yeah. so disposable, yeah. so unloved. So uncared for, so unconsidered. So everywhere. In, yeah, well. yeah. Into something which is so beautiful. That's incredible. This was the uh, the first generation. Oh wow! They've and then come this a long is way, the actually. second generation. Look at that. So it's uh, taking the design to the next level yeah. with you know the sort of the lip here, uh, making it able to pick it up from the table. Yeah. Um, it's like a like a proper plate. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and they're really really beautiful. Each and every one is completely different. Um, I hate plastic bags. I never actually thought I'd love them. Uh, you yeah. turned me. These are awesome. It's like marble almost. Absolutely, absolutely. So you use these as um, like serving plates? Yeah, yeah, this is our bread plates. So yeah, yeah all great. the bread is served from these. Amazing. How, how long does it take it to make them? Uh, just literally sixty plastic bags into an oven, and then melted and then compressed into a shape, into a mould. That's it. So like a five-minute process for each plate. Amazing. I think those are going to catch on actually. I think so. I think <laughs> you might so. Have to start selling those. God, I feel like I could talk to you all day about all the different elements of silo, yeah, but I think absolutely. we're just going to have to come back. That's yeah. it. We're going to have to try some more food and come back. Thank you so much for letting us take a pleasure. look around. Yeah, I've really pleasure. enjoyed it. And um, please come to London. Uh, I, will, uh, I will try. Bring, I will try. Bring silo to London. We'll set up the little campaign. That'll be and good. Should we end it on a, a nudge? Thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, Click up here to watch another one and here to subscribe.